Let's be honest. The name of the game is to recover the most oil as fast as possible. To do that, you need the best. The name is Disc Oil. The best recovery rate means you'll profit from more commercially reusable oil. You can save valuable time and expensive cleanup personnel. It can be the difference between an ecological and financial disaster and saving the environment. All this adds up to much more than saving money. It multiplies your investment, and that adds up to value. Presenting the best value in the business, an oil recovery machine that does what it claims to do. It's been an unqualified success in Europe and the Middle East for over 10 years, and it's now available in the United States exclusively through Oil Recovery Machines, Inc. It's called Disc Oil. Disc Oil technology was first developed for industry use about 15 years ago. Now the results are in. It's being used very profitably in hundreds of industrial locations, particularly oil refineries, petrochemical plants, and steel mills. Why so profitable? Disc oil is often used in a completely automatic mode, without supervision, 24 hours a day, virtually maintenance-free, and with a very low draw of electrical power. In fact, plant managers report that wherever disc oil technology is at work recovering floating materials and storing them for reuse, the equipment pays for itself very quickly. A case in point, the Ajip refinery in Venice, Italy recovered the purchase price of its disc oil in only three months, and it's still going strong. Now, this same technology is available in various sizes and models for three general applications. First, where the disc oil is operated in a fixed position in an industrial plant. Second, where it's called the float disc oil, it's used with a boom or ties floating on open water. And third, where it's called the e-coil, a specially designed, highly maneuverable small boat utilizing a built-in disc oil. Disc oil's seagoing technology was destined to be challenged under extreme conditions. It was the Mediterranean Sea off the Italian Riviera in April 1991. First, the hapless ferryboat Moby Prince collided with the Egypt Abruzzo, riding at anchor holding 80,000 tons of crude oil. A huge explosion ripped a hole in the tanker's side, and enormous amounts of oil spilled into the sea. Then the unthinkable. In an unrelated accident, a Cypriot oil tanker, the Haven, carrying 144,000 tons of crude, was ripped by an explosion in her number one tank. Two gigantic spills, prime coastline threatened, the potential for an ecological catastrophe. It was one of the worst spills ever in the Mediterranean Sea. They called for a skimmer that could recover more oil faster, but would also be stable on the open water. Disc oil was the machine of choice. Even as wind, waves, and currents shifted the slicks, and the oil became more weathered, the float disc oil skimmers worked efficiently and quickly. A few days later, environmental conditions looked much better. Most of the surface oil had been recovered. The disc oil skimmers had performed beautifully. Satisfied customers point out how the disc oil technology is better, more cost effective, and faster. Recovering more oil faster means you'll get more commercially reusable oil. That helps to quickly recover your purchase price and move into profits. 
You can also save valuable time by recovering the oil while it's still on the water. And not on the shore, where the cost of cleanup personnel can add up. Quick recovery can be the difference between an ecological disaster and saving the environment, thus avoiding potential government fines. All this shows why disc oil is the best value in oil recovery machinery. Here's a case in point. The Float Disc Oil 50, a recent mid-range model. The oil recovery rate is indicated by the model number, so this unit recovers 50 tons, or about 300 barrels of oil per hour. At $20 per barrel, that's a recovered value of $6,000 per hour. The key to the technology is right here in the patented rotating metal discs, which are placed perpendicular to the oil. Oil is naturally attracted to these specially treated discs. Rubber blades wipe the oil into a holding pan in the bottom of the disc oil. As the holding pan fills, the oil is pumped into a larger tank. Let's face it, something that really affects your bottom line is the recovery efficiency of your skimming equipment. If you're using an absorbent system, you know you're not only losing valuable oil, but you've also got a disposal problem that may even cost you money. Can you say that your present equipment recovers 100% even on open water skimming? Can your recovered oil go untreated, directly back to the blended feedstock of the refinery? Can your present unit pay for itself many times over in recovered oil? Disc oil customers can and do say yes to each of these points. Disc oil customers know that the more oil there is to recover, the quicker they'll recover their initial investment. The float disc oil is completely reliable for one reason. It's essentially a simple construction. Its body is compact, made of lightweight and buoyant marine aluminum, specially treated for a long life, even in salt water. It can be easily maneuvered by a boom or conveniently transported by truck or air. Its operation does not require skilled personnel. Plus, the actual functioning of the unit is simple and direct. Let's see how it works. The entire package of the float disc coil consists of the float recovery unit, a power pack, generator, and a control panel. The stainless steel discs are mounted on a steel shift, which contains an internal motion-reducing mechanism. The lower part of the unit contains a tank with a filter linked to a volumetric pump with hollow discs. The hydraulic generator is powered by a 40-horsepower sturdy diesel electric start engine. The control panel contains the four main drives, which regulate the engine, the rotation speed of the discs, the capacity of the pump, and the opening